Welcome to Divine Lotus Tarot. So I have a message. Okay, so the energies that we have here that seem relevant. We have a Sagittarius energy. We have a Virgo energy, Pisces energy, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. We have hidden energies of Capricorn and hidden energies of Taurus here. So it feels like when it comes to the hidden energies of Taurus and Capricorn, these are individuals who did not want to be uh, detected in this situation but it does feel like um there is a virgo energy who is in um competition with the sagittarius now this virgo energy i'm getting several different scenarios for some of you this could be a virgo that you are in a relationship with this virgo could have tried to set you up to have sex with an aquarius individual um in the instance that there was some type of prenup um situation Meaning that if the Sagittarius got caught having sex or there was proof that the Sagittarius had sex with this Aquarius, then the Virgo would benefit essentially from the pre prenup. Um, in other instances, it, it just feels like whether there's a prenup or not, or this deals with just some a relationship that may not be a marriage, it feels like a Virgo tried to still set up an Aquarius to sleep with a Sagittarius. Okay? Now, it does feel like... In other instances, this could be a Virgo who's jealous and in competition with the Sagittarius in, at work, or this could just be a weirdo who's a Virgo who is obsessed with the Sagittarius who they have no relationship or association to the Sagittarius and they're just in competition with this individual. Um, it feels like there's a Pisces in this situation as well too. The Pisces is not talking or on speaking terms, it feels like like direct speaking terms with the Sagittarius. Now, in some instances, this could be because this Pisces doesn't get along with whoever the Sagittarius is in a relationship with. So in the instance that the Sagittarius is in a relationship with a Virgo, well, the Pisces doesn't get along with this Virgo. Or the Pisces can't talk to the Sagittarius because of this Virgo or whoever the individual is that the Sagittarius is in a relationship with. The other thing I was getting is that this Pisces could also know something that transpired from the past so that could be why this Pisces like kind of distances themselves or they don't talk to a Sagittarius so they could be very well privy to the um the I guess the what what do I want to call that it's like the plots the schemes that individuals have been trying to um take and go against the Sagittarius energy. So the Pisces could know about this, okay? Another instance that I'm picking up with between this Pisces Sagittarius energy is the Sagittarius could look at this Pisces like a father, okay? But they're not on speaking terms because maybe the Sagittarius feels that they don't like this person who this Pisces is in a relationship with. And then in other instances, this Sagittarius could have a child with this Pisces, but like I said, if this Sagittarius is in a relationship with this Virgo or just in a relationship in general, then it's almost like this Sagittarius and this Pisces can't have a relationship with each other, even though this Pisces could have a child with this Sagittarius. I feel like there's a Scorpio here. The Scorpio could not be on speaking terms with this Sagittarius. I feel like the Scorpio has definitely tried to like, um, I feel like there's energy where in several instances there have been um, ploys to try to bring the Sagittarius to their demise. So there could have been um, plans that individuals have had to try to like kill the Sagittarius or just kill an aspect of the Sagittarius's life. So this could be kill someone's career, kill someone's love life, or kill, you know, someone's uh, dreams or ability to be successful or something like that. Um, so it, it could be those as well too, but I do get an energy around, you know, all these energies wanting to kill something or for something to, um, die off for the Sagittarius. Um, I was also getting the energy as well too, that, um, this Scorpio, this, it's like this Scorpio and this Sagittarius, I don't think they're on speaking terms, but the Scorpio could have had something with this Virgo in some of the situations um, that I'm picking up as well, too. So this could be a Scorpio that's had a relationship or some type of, um, they have some type of feelings for this Virgo. So that could be why they don't 
like the Sagittarius, why they tried to kill the Sagittarius, or why they um have it out for the Sagittarius. So it could be a situation where the Scorpio either has had a relationship with this Virgo or like um intimate or they just wanted this Virgo. And that's why um they don't they have it out for this Sagittarius. Now I do feel with this Aquarius energy here, this Aquarius energy I'm picking up is more like a, a protector of the Sagittarius. I don't feel like the Sagittarius is on speaking terms with this Aquarius, but I feel like that is because all these other energies here, this Scorpio, this Pisces, this Virgo, the hidden energies of the Capricorn and the Taurus energies, they don't want this Aquarius to talk to the Sagittarius because it feels like this Aquarius is also very much well aware of everything that's going on, the plots, the plans, like I said, to try to either bring the Sagittarius to their demise by death, by killing this individual, or like 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 I said, killing some type of area of this individual's life. Um, so it feels like this Aquarius is going to tell this Sagittarius this information, and I feel like these other individuals have been trying to prevent this uh, Aquarius from... Um, speaking this truth to the Sagittarius because I feel like they have some type of information that's going to free the Sagittarius and, and essentially bring awareness or shed light and enlighten the Sagittarius on maybe all the things that have been going on that the Sagittarius does not know about. Um, it feels much like a past energy of something that transpired in the past that has been, um, all these individuals have like conspired together to prevent the Sagittarius from being aware of. Now, it feels like there with the hidden energy with this Taurus energy, it feels like a, a Scorpio could have um had it's either a Scorpio paid a Taurus a hefty amount of money if like let's say this Sagittarius and this Virgo was in a relationship, then a Scorpio could have paid a Taurus a hefty amount of money to um, essentially like pay this Virgo to leave this Sagittarius or either intimidate this Virgo to leave this Sagittarius or it's, it's something like this Scorpio was muscling up on this Virgo, either pr pushing up on them until this Virgo cheated on them, uh, on the Sagittarius person with this Scorpio or, um, until this Scorpio got this Virgo to do something for this, uh, for them, to this Sagittarius. I also heard with the Virgo, I heard this Virgo was um, giving vitamins to the Sagittarius. So it could be a situation where this individual was saying that they were giving vitamins to the Sagittarius, but they really weren't giving vitamins to the Sagittarius, they could have been tampering with the Sagittarius's like food or with their medicine or just giving them something else to ingest that, um, you know, like I said, would kill the Sagittarius or severely harm the Sagittarius. And I feel like the Scorpio could have had something to do with it. And also, like I said, that Taurus energy that was involved in the situation as well, too. Um, it feels just like the Capricorn was just in there somewhere. They just could have thought that they were very slick and very clever with um, trying to come up with a way to, you know, get to someone's fortune or someone's money in this situation, whether that's the Sagittarius, the Aquarius, or I don't know, but it just feels like whoever this Capricorn energy is, like I said, the Capricorn and the Taurus energy are more so like they're trying to be undetected. Um, but it feels like the Capricorn was just an energy where they were trying to, it's almost like where they're trying to reconnect with someone just for the sake of trying to get, like trying to benefit for themselves. So they were just trying to come up off of somebody like, like if this, this Capricorn came back into someone's life or wanted to reconnect with someone, um, it, it was just for the sake of them being able to profit or to gain or to get some type of, um, is giving me very much like their reputation or something like that. Like they benefited from being around this, the whoever they were trying to be around um, in this instance so that they could gain in that manner. But it does feel like they're upset, whoever this Capricorn is, because it doesn't seem like it worked or they it didn't work for long. 
Um, but yeah, so there is a Taurus energy here. The Taurus, like I said, either the Taurus was paid a sum of money and they came up with some type of solution and they could have been paid a large sum of money, like I said, specifically from the Scorpio energy, or this Taurus was the one who provided a large sum of money to this Virgo, um, maybe on behalf of this Scorpio energy to get involved in um, sabotaging this Sagittarius energy or to leave this Sagittarius or to, to, to do something, okay, in this situation. Um, but I feel like this Virgo could have disclosed to this Aquarius, like their plan. So that's another reason why this Aquarius ha is privy to the information and will be able to be the person who brings the truth to the Sagittarius. Cause it feels like in some aspects with some of the scenarios, the Virgo actually talked to this Aquarius. It also feels like the Scorpio wish was for like, if this, like I said, if this Virgo and the Sagittarius was in a relationship, like this Scorpio wanted the Virgo and the Sagittarius to no longer be in a relationship or to no longer be in speaking terms. So that was their wish. And that's, that's like I said, where this said that this um, other Taurus comes in to the factor here to, like I said, they either were the benefit, um, they either were the, the, the individual who provided some type of money, okay, to like get this situation to go down um or to put things into motion put it like that so this so the Taurus could have been the individual who funded you know whatever these plans were to sabotage the Sagittarius energy or like I said this Taurus was paid um, a hefty amount of money to take part in coming up with some type of solution um to sabotage this Sagittarius now another scenario that I'm picking up in this whole reading is that for some of you um if you are the Sagittarius you may come to know that you were adopted or that you are missing so you could have been like a child that was missing a long time ago or you were kidnapped or something like that and um so you're either kidnapped missing or you were adopted so you may come to know this and this could be this information that this Aquarius knows now for some of you this Aquarius could be someone who you formerly had a relationship with okay and you could have just got on uh non-speaking terms with this individual and this person it feels like this person if they were initially involved with this plan to sabotage you it feels like they no longer are interested in doing that and that they have a sincere interest in like being supportive to you or protecting you okay but in other instances what I'm picking up is that for some of you if you are stolen kidnapped or you will find out that you are adopted this Aquarius knows this now for some of you this Aquarius could be your mother you may come to find out that your mother has been looking for you um if one of those situations applied to you. Um, in other instances, this could be a mother and a son who are looking for their missing um, child, okay, or and, and sibling. So it could be a, um, a mother and a son who's, who's looking for you, okay? And in other instances, for some of you, it could be a situation where you may find out that your mom had a child that she gave up for adoption and you didn't know that you had it feels like a brother more than anything so you may come to find out that your mother gave a, a brother of yours up for adoption and you may not be aware of this and this brother has been um trying to connect with you it feels like for those of you in this situation where either you come to find out that your mother had a child that you didn't know about that they gave up for adoption, which could be a son, or you were adopted and you didn't know you were adopted, or you were stolen, or you were um, declared missing when you were younger, and your mom has been looking for you and, you know, your brother as well, too, 
it feels like whoever this brother is, this brother could be like well known. Okay. Now, the thing that I'm picking up is that whoever these individuals are, this hidden Taurus energy, this hidden Capricorn energy, this Virgo, this Pisces, this Scorpio, in some instances, they know that these individuals want to reconnect with you. If you are missing or you were stolen or you're adopted, it's like these individuals didn't want you to know that because, like I said, there's there's something where you may come into knowing that you come from a family that's well off and these could just be individuals who um who were trying to essentially sabotage you so that you wouldn't get this um like you wouldn't come into this sense of being well taken care of which I feel like you were supposed to be or um just to know who your lineage, you know what I'm saying? And being able to reconnect with your family. Now, I get that it may not be all about like the money and the finances, but it feels like that's what these individuals around you were were making it into because they essentially saw you as some type of meal ticket. Because I'm getting ransom energy as well too. So it's almost like maybe in some instances, these individuals could have lied and said that you had died. Okay. um, In order to get something that to, to benefit off of you. So they could have said that you died. Um, they could have been trying to kill you, you know, so that they could get something that you were supposed to get. And when I say that, it could just be some type of inheritance or something that was just left for you, okay? Um, whether it was inheritance or there was some type of trust fund or whether there was like some type of money or something that, that was left for you to be taken care of properly, you know what I'm saying? That you did not get. So these individuals could have stolen it. Or if this is something that's supposed to come to you, then this this is what these individuals could have been trying to like plan to do to steal this from you. So um, in other instances, what I'm picking up as well, too, is that maybe just some of you just had a brother who you really connected to. And this, if this brother is deceased, OK, um, which it feels like in some instances, this brother could be deceased. He could have left. um some money with like your mom or like a mother figure to either it was your mom he left this money with that she was supposed to give to you when you either became a certain age or he left it with someone who he thought had your best interest at heart and who was supposed to like use that money to take care of you and to like it was for you essentially so Either way, whether this was your mom or another family member who this person thought like had your best interest at heart, the person didn't give it to you and they used it themselves, okay? And that could be the reason why someone tried to come up with some plot, some scheme to try to kill you because they didn't want to get found out that they didn't give you this money that they were supposed to give you, okay? And then that's where all these other individuals come into this plot and the scheme because maybe they benefited off of receiving some of this money or um, they were promised that they were going to get some type of money if they helped you know, sabotage you. So that could just be the other um, scenario in this instance as well, too. So I think that's pretty much all the messages. But yeah, for some of you, you, you may come to find out that you, you know, do have some family members that have been looking for you. And it's been very hard for them trying to get in contact with you. Um, so some of you may come to learn that, you know, um, that you got a whole like mom and a brother that have been going out of their way trying to find you, you know, and you're about to be reconnected to them. And you'll you'll see why, you know, certain things just played out the way that it did. And for others of you, you know, you will come to learn of the people around you, you know, just not having your best interests at heart and, and all that they had done to try to like really sabotage you. Okay. Um, those are all the messages I have for you.